This is my review of the laser tag augmented reality system and its compatibility with iDevices like the iPhone or the iPod Touch. Uh, this is a 4th gen iPod Touch and I'll be showing you how you can utilize this with the uh, Eltar. Now without it, the uh, Eltar just looks just like this. It's got this cover back here with the cord underneath and uh, this can be completely removed and uh, here it is sitting over here for the other one and then you attach the uh, iOS Cradle. Now that all of this comes with the blaster so you don't have to buy any anything separate to get this to work. To, um, to get this guy in there first you need to put on a rubber protective jacket. This one is designed for the iPod whereas the one that's a little bit thicker is designed for the iPhone. Once you've got it in there open up the cradle and this point comes out here. This plugs into the audio jack on your iPod like so and then uh, he fits snugly into the cradle there. Make sure that it's all the way in and close it up. There's a space over here where you can still hit the home button to start it up. Thank you Captain America for giving me a thumbs up. Going to go and load up the laser tag app. This is a free app you can download off the uh, iP uh, iTunes or whatever i iStore and then it starts up the app. The uh, it's welcoming bazooka fight back. Shoot the moon and Vertigor. And there we go. We're going into blaster mode because, yay, we finally have a blaster you use this with. Connect device to blaster before proceeding. Well, we did that. So, yay, tap to proceed. Don't use headphones. Mainly because you can't really use headphones because that port is already taken up. Tap to proceed. Headphones are on. And there we go. We've got the app running. Now we can turn on the blaster. And the blaster recognizes now that it's hooked up to an eye device. So the rest of your sound effects are actually going to go through your speaker, which is right there. So uh, we're going to select multiplayer. And um, you can pick teams. You can either go solo or team one, two, or th three from here. Going to pick team one. And from there, it's going to start a countdown. Now while this is counting down, I'm going to get my other blaster out here and uh, show you how these fellas interact with each other. They uh, don't like each other. Danger, danger. All this danger, see all this blinking you see there is the uh, IFF beacon. Danger, this is a uh, lock-on signature that lets you know when you're there. Now the screen is displaying that red lock-on and you can actually see the laser and a uh, little explosion danger, there. Now danger. because all this beeping is probably getting annoying for you, we're going to move away and uh, I'm going to show danger. you a few more features. All right, so we're pretty much out of uh, out of harm's way right now because it's not picking up any any more danger. Here is a look at the uh, at the display. You've got your ammo there in the corner, your health gauge, your shield gauge, um, your radar, as well as the duration that you've been playing. Um, shields function. Just press down on that, and then your screen turns blue while it's on, and then your gauge starts to drop, and then you click off, and then your screen returns to normal coloration. When it's firing at nothing, it's not hitting anything. Now, these are still compatible with the team modes on the Phoenix LTX. Um, there's one around the corner we'll be able to shoot as well. Um, but you'll notice that when I'm shooting it, it doesn't make those explosion sounds or have lock on. That's because it doesn't have these beacons that are coming out of that dome. You'll notice that when I'm shooting at the Eltar around the corner, it won't have that beacon. So, uh, that's neat. The other neat thing is that I can really annihilate the heck out of these guys because this blaster is not limited to its single round, uh, s single fire 12 rounds of ammo. Instead, I can hold down on that reload button and get this. The Quantum is the base tagger that we're using. Or I can swipe over and use the Quantum Repeater. This is a fully automatic weapon, so we can actually use an automatic weapon without actually having to ch change the blaster itself. There's also a Talus airstrike that I can launch on them, but uh, because I don't have another iOS to test this with right Danger. now, you can't really see how that works out. So we're going to use the quantum repeater right now. I'm gonna load it up. The, uh, maybe? Oh, I screwed that up. Sorry. There's the quantum repeater release on it, and then Hear that sound effect, so we are good to go. And uh, let's go kill Danger. the Eltar. Danger. 
That killed him pretty quickly. And there's also this LTX down here that is still taking hits. And I got him out too. So, uh, yeah, the Altar is a real winner. It's, uh, it's got great capabilities, even in just its normal form. There's another uh, video that gives you a full overview of the basic taggers form. The link is here. And then uh, this is the with the iOS. Again, it works with the iPod and iPhone. So uh, that's my review of the LaserTag Augmented Reality System. See you guys.